In lesson three of using TurboCAD for drawing model airplane plans, we're going to take an existing design of the Yardes and we're going to transition that to the snapper and we'll show some techniques how to do that. Once we create this general framework, what I call the framework of the snapper, we'll simply fill it in in subsequent lessons with structure until we have the model and then the completed plan. Before we do that, let's talk a little bit more about cleaning up our floating toolbars and how we can optimize our workspace for TurboCAD. As we mentioned, over here is the drawing tools tool toolbar. Uh, these are all drawing tools, things that are used to draw lines, construction lines, circles, etc. Uh, these are commands, the snap modes, a grid measurement that do because we don't draw, they're not on the drawing toolbar. So because we use snap modes a lot, we're going to go ahead and keep this docked up here at the top uh, so it's always available. Same for the grid, we'll dock that to the top, we use this a great deal. And the measurement is a very common tool, we'll put that to the side. Notice that all the tools are still there, we can bring them uh, down if we wish, but it's just very handy to have them up there for whatever snap mode uh, grid or measurement. Similarly for the drawing tools, recall in the flyout toolbar we don't really use the node maybe once we can we don't use it that often uh, let alone the block reference point or the pick hyperlink mostly is select the vast majority of the time therefore we don't really need this floating toolbar so let's just close it again if we want to open it again we go to um, options toolbars menus toolbars right here and then we can um, pick it from here the uh, select would be right here if we wanted to do that. So don't need to select. The construction we tend to use a fair amount. It's a little bit more convenient to have that out than the fly uh, out bar. So let's put the construction toolbar up here. And that's listed right here. For the line, we use the lines a fair amount. Again, it's more convenient than the fly out with a line tool rectangle and parallel. Let's go ahead and put the line toolbar here. And again, that went over here a little bit. We'll just move that right here. And we'll move that to the side, give a little bit more space. The circle ellipse, we don't use all that much. So I think it's okay just to have that as a fly out. So let's go ahead and close that. The arc tool that we use fairly infrequently uh, for the formers, we don't need that at the ready. So I think we can close that. Again, your option if you want to dock it up at the top. The curve for sure, uh, again, spline here, spline here. That's the main one we use. We can close that floating toolbar. And the dimension tool, all we use is the leader in the later uh, uh, portions of the drawing. The leader is right here. We can close this floating toolbar. The text we use uh, infrequently, just that one box here. So we don't need to have a dedicated floating toolbar. We can close that. The camphor is just the, the one right here. You can see the fly out, so we can uh, usefully close that. The trim we use a lot, so let's go ahead and put the trim over here. Uh, the groups is located right here with create group and explode, so we can close that. And for the copy, again, we just use the mirror command, which is right here for uh, our purposes of this instruction, so we can close that. And then to give just a little bit more room, we can move this up here and the measurement right here. And uh, that should give, yeah, that should work out just fine. Okay, so now we have all the toolbars docked. So let's take a look at uh, what I call the frame of the yard ace and how we can adapt that to the snapper. I have the snapper master plan right here. We'll go to the select toolbar and using the scroll wheel, I'll scroll to make this a little bit smaller. Now what I have on this drawing space. Remember, everything we do in TurboCAD is full size. You can see this distance from here to here is 100 inches. Everything is a full size. There's no having to scale anything, which is tremendously useful, you'll find as we go through the drawing program. 
And also, it's very easy to copy stuff. Uh, it's much better to have an extra copy of something than to not have it. So let's, with the selection tool, left mouse button, take this square right here. And what I call this area, I'm going to, again, I can scroll in here or with a scrolling window. Let's zoom in on this. This is what I call the whole file. It's just things that I've drawn that I put off to the side, uh, airfoils, motors, batteries, servos, etc. As I draw various components, I just keep it to the side. Now, using the scroll wheel, I'll zoom out and I'll center it. Uh, remember when I uh, scroll, this will be the center of the drawing. Uh, here is the yard ace plan right here. And again, pictures of the yard ace. What I've done for the snapper is I've taken this yard ace and I've copied this fuselage and just taken out a lot of the internal structure. Now I'll show how to do that later and you'll see through just learning TurboCAD it's very easy to do to like come down to what I call the frame of the yard ace. This frame of the yard ace is still the same size. I've just taken out all the internal structure so you see what is important, the tail moment, the uh, length of the tail, the length of the nose, the position of the uh, airfoil, the top view with the wing in the proper location, the tail surfaces, rudders, and the wings. This is, are the exact dimensions of the yard ace that we'll use to as a springboard to building the snapper. Now you can build a frame for any type of airplane. If you're just starting your design, just simply copy the dimensions of an aircraft you're comfortable with, a trainer or something like that. And you'll soon get a collection of what I call frames that are just the basic outlines that you can then fill in with structure to build any number of different types of airplanes, which is essentially what we're gonna do as we transition the Yard Ace frame to the Snapper airframe. Now what we're going to do as we transition from the yard ace here, yard ace frame, and in a moment here we'll start the snapper frame, is we're going to make some changes. What we're going to do on the snapper is we're going to make it a slightly longer nose and tail section. I think that'll look better and I think it'll fly a little bit better. We are going to increase the fuselage width. The yard ace is one and three quarters inches. For the snapper, we're going to make it two inches. That should be a, a big enough width to put two servos side by side, which is how I'm going to arrange it on the snapper. I'm going to have a slightly larger elevator and rudder than was on the yard ace for the snapper, just for a little bit better control. I'm going to increase the wingspan from the 39 inches of the yard ace. I've decided to make it uh, 38 inches for the snapper, just for a little bit better slow flight handling characteristics. And I'm going to lighten the structure a little bit. You'll see that as we go through the design. Now you can do these uh, frame sketches on paper. After you do it a couple times, you can uh, do it on the TurboCAD. Sometimes it's easier just to start off with a, with a pencil sketch to get your ideas down. Again, um, uh, your decision. And again, this Yard Ace frame will be on the CD. Uh, uh, it's here uh, right now if you want to use it just as a basis for any other design. It's very easy to enlarge it or shrink it for, um, uh, for your model. And again, what we'll need is the side view, the top view, and of course the wing, which will all fill in with structure on later uh, CDs. So let's go ahead and start um, with the building the framework of the snapper that will then fill in with structure and have a completed airplane. What we'll do with the selection tool, left select, hold down the left um, mouse button and we'll select this whole thing and we will copy it. We'll click on the copy, deselect that with the left button and now we just click paste and with the middle uh, yellow circle. Uh, this is going to be the basis of the snapper. We'll then with our scroll wheel enlarge this a little bit. Notice we have the yard ace frame and then the snapper right here. So let's change this. Uh, we'll double click on this and we're going to call it the snapper. So let me backspace here. Uh, caps lock snapper frame. Enter that up. Now notice we have the uh, ruler here, six inches, uh, so we can uh, see clearly that the distance is one, two, 
three, uh, about 19 inches or so. And again, it's very easy to measure that. And we'll do that just to exercise the measurement. Again, the measurement is right here, the distance. We'll click that. If we go from the front to the back, just a rough gauge, about 19.6 inches. Uh, so again, that works. Escape key to get rid of that. Go back to select. Also notice what I've done is the uh, engine, which is a separate chapter at the end, how to draw an engine. This is all full size because that's how we work in TurboCAD. It's a group. It's very easy just to see how that's removed. Uh, again, it's just for aesthetics, so we can see what it looks like. That is the existing uh, fuselage uh, nose. We click undo, and that puts the motor right back there. Sometimes you'll see these little um, artifacts on here. Just with TurboCAD F5, uh, hit the F5, it clears all that stuff up, just part of the CAD. And of course, the wing on the um, yard ace up here. You can see that it's a high wing. We've captured that uh, here with a snapper frame. We'll just do the um, zoom window. Is a high wing. So, uh, and, and also let me let me get rid of this uh, box here. This is kind of a decorative box. We'll select it and hit delete. Uh, so here is the snapper frame. Uh, we save every now and then. And the first thing we're going to do is I've decided to add a little bit of incidence to the wing. Uh, so again, what we want to do is um, go ahead and select this wing right here. And notice that here we can rotate the wing. We'll undo to keep it level. And here is a rotation. So what we want to do is keep an eye on the rotation. When we turn it up, see it goes from 0 to uh, 358, something like that. So let's undo that. We will hit the tab button until we get to rotate and we want three degrees of rotation so that should be about uh, 360 minus 3 or 357 enter and you can see that we have uh, three degrees of rotation. Tell you what let's let's make that uh, we'll undo that let's just make that two degrees. Now we'll go ahead and hit the tab again and 360 minus 2 is 358. Enter. Now we have the incidence that we want for the wing. And what we're going to do now is use construction lines to make sure we know about where the wing should be. We will left click the vertical construction and let's scroll just to see the uh, leading edge. We'll put that right here and we'll put one on the aft right here. Escape to get rid of the construction lines. We'll left click with the wing and let's just put this down here to make it a low wing design. And we'll leave that like that. And there is the uh, wing installed right there. So that is how we can use TurboCAD to put the wing a little bit lower. Uh, by the same token, let's make the nose just a little bit longer. We will select the engine. We will move that out here. Uh, let's go ahead and put a construction line out there for here. Let's just say we want to make the nose about this much longer right here. Let's clear the construct. Well, we'll leave the construction lines for the wings right now. Hit escape to get rid of that. And then for the line, we'll just take a line. We will uh, click here on the construction line. Remember, to keep it vertical, we can hold down the shift key and the line is straight down here for the new nose. We'll select, select this one, get rid of this line right here with delete. And a very easy way to extend lines like here, we just simply click on it, click with the left button, hold the shift, and we can extend it out here like this. This line will be a little bit different. Let's go ahead and select this and delete it. And what we'll do is, let's make this wing just a little bit lower here. I think it looks a little bit better. And what we'll do is we'll take this line, get rid of this. There's another line here, get rid of that. And what we'll do is take a line here. And let's just, we're just doing rough sketches now. Take it and make the nose look something like this and click. 
I'll select, take a quick look, oops, uh, escape. I want to select, uh, click here, just take a quick look to make sure that the uh, engine does in fact fit on this new firewall. It does, we'll worry about the incidents later. And now let's clear out the construction lines. If you remember, edit, clear, construction lines. We'll click here uh, to get rid of the nose. Go back to select. And now we're going to trim. If you remember the trim, we want to clean up this nose area right here. So we'll do the trim, cutting edge, click, escape, cutting edge for this line, left click, left click, escape, cutting edge, left click, escape. Now we have a slightly longer nose. Let's do the same thing to make the tail just a little bit longer. We'll scroll up to here and let's select, still thinks I'm trying to trim. Let's go ahead and select. Here we go, we're back on trim. Notice you could hear the tone because for whatever reason it didn't take with the um, selection for the trim. Let's go ahead and select the tail. We'll just lift this up a little bit and click outside of that. There's the tail. And let's just, um, for the heck of it, make the tail a little bit longer out to here. We'll left click with the line tool, hold down the shift key. We draw it straight down like this. We'll go back to the select, top line, shift key to keep it level did there. Let's uh, just undo that. We'll redo it. Let's uh, click that one more time. And we'll just pull the line out like that. And there's the, the straight line. For the bottom of the fuselage, just what that looks like, let's go ahead, select this, delete this line, delete this line here and delete this line, select it, and delete. And let's just draw a, um, I'll zoom out just a little bit. We'll take the line tool and just go from about here. Again, we'll clean it up later. And let's just use this for uh, how we do the tail left click. Uh, as before, we will then clean this up with trim. Uh, we'll go back to select, zoom in here, and the trim tool is very easy, trim. Cutting edge, left click, left click, escape. Cutting edge, left click, escape. Cutting edge, left click, escape. And now we have the new uh, tail of the snapper. We can then take the select tool again. Let's get down here, select the tail, and we will just simply put that I'll move it back here a little bit. And you get the general idea that is the longer tail uh, right there. So that is how we can take the frame of the yard ace here and just make the dimensions a little bit longer. You can see the basic uh, way that we uh, can adapt that to the um, top of the fuselage as well to get the basic outlines that we need that we then fill in with structure. Again, we'll do the wing here real quickly. Um, this is where it can be uh, helpful. We'll just go ahead and delete. Actually, what we'll do is, let me escape on that. What we can do is we will just take half the wing right here. Uh, we'll see what the dimensions are on that wing uh, right here. From, and we'll use a snap. Let's just use a snap to get it totally accurate. We will do a vertex snap. We will zoom in. We will click on this end. We will click on this end. And you see that it's 17 inches long. Now we want to make that 2 inches longer. So what we do is we escape. Go ahead and select that. And we tab over to make that 19 and we hit enter, and there we have the 19 inch wing right here. We'll go ahead and uh, close up the gap with the uh, line tool. It's a vertex here, vertex snap. And so we'll double check that. It's always good to make sure it was correct. We'll take the distance tool, snap to the vertex, 
and it is exactly 19 inches long escape to get rid of that. And now just as a review, we will use the mirror command to make the second half of the wing. We'll go back to no snaps. We will go to select. We'll select the entire wing uh, for make sure it's accurate. We'll now snap to the vertex. We will mirror an image. One end, snap to the other end, escape, and we'll zoom out. And here is, get rid of the snaps here, the longer wing. We can easily select all that. And this is the basic structure that we will fill in later. Let's go ahead and clear up the construction lines. And again, it's similar actions that we do uh, for the top view to make it a little bit wider, the tail a little bit bigger, uh, the elevator a little bit longer. I'll go ahead and do that, clean it up, and you'll see that on the next lesson as we go ahead and take this frame and fill it in with structure starting with a wing.